Hi, and welcome to part two of the Curvature Pen Tool. In this video, I'm going to show you a real world example of how to use the tool. And we're going to start with a little reminder of what we covered in part one. So, let's get to it. My name's Ken Fisher, and this is LiveLink Training. Okay. I'm still working in the same blank document and guides that I created in part one. If you're not sure how to set these guides up, just zip back and watch part one of the curvature pen tool and then drop back here. Okay, well I've got my curvature pen tool selected in the toolbar and I've got my paths panel open just so I can see what's going on. And I'm going to try and create a, a heart shape. Now, I just have to tell you that my version of Photoshop is a little bit buggy, but you can convert a curve point to a corner point by just double clicking on it. Mine won't let me do that, but I'll keep you informed of that as we go through. Okay, now let's click to make a first point. Here we go. Click. That's our first point made. And in the you can see the work paths appeared in the past panel. Now I'm going to go over here to the left and I'm just going to click on this intersection here. And I've got a straight line because to get a curve, I need my third point. So I'm just going to go up and across to this intersection point here and I'm going to click. And that's going to give me a nice smooth curve. That's good. Now I'd like to bring it back down into the middle. So I'm going to go down to this intersection and I'm going to click. And that looks pretty good. I like that. I like that curve. Okay, next I'm going to go up to this point and I'll click there. And here you can see now that I've got a smooth point here, which doesn't look quite right. What I need is a corner point. I need a cusp so I can come in and out at a, an acute angle. Now you can just hover your mouse right over that point there and double click and it will turn it into a corner point. Mine's not working, um, so I have to hold the Alt key down and I get to the Convert Point tool. You can see that little little triangle thingy. I think it's called a carrot, I think, something like that. Um, and then I click and it will now give me a corner point. So I'm coming in and out with no curvature. And then I'll go to this point over here and I'll click and that gives me a nice again a nice curve that's joined the two together and then I'll come back to the start and I'll click down here now again at the bottom I've ended up with a smooth point which isn't really what I want so you again you can hover over it double click it will turn it to a corner point but for me again I'm going to hold the alt key down I'm just going to hover over till I get the convert point tool symbol and then I'm going to click and that gives me a corner point at the bottom. And there we have it. We've got a heart shape. And you can see that in the work path, it comes up as the heart shape as well. So to keep this path, I'm going to rename it. So I'll just double click over the work path and I'll type, let's say heart. And I'll click OK. OK. Let's try and look at another example now. And for that, we need another image. So I'll go to my wine bottle image. And for this, let's try and cut out this wine bottle. And that's got some nice curves on it. I'm going to start at the top. So I'm going to zoom in by Control and Plus. And I'll just space bar drag to get me right onto that top. OK, I'm going to lay down my first point. There it is. And then I'll go over to the other side and I'll try another point. See if that works. Well, that's giving me a straight line. So what I'll do, I'll just drag that up and see if that does any good. I can put another one in that corner. I could do with a straight line on the top. So I'm going to put a point in here and just drag it out. You can put as many points in as you like. Just to get it so that we're matching up with, we're trying to cut that out. And I'll try, let's just give it a go. We'll try and make that into a, a straight point. And then we'll put another point in there. And that's not bad. I'm going to 
So you can fiddle about with this to your heart's content. But you can see I've got a pretty good um, line on that top now. So we'll go down this one and we'll have a straight line there because I think that's a bit of a straight one. We'll click again and then we'll go down here and that's pretty straight down to there. And again, we want a straight line, so I'm going to go. I'm going to hold my old key. You can just double click and click on that point. I'll come down to here, and then we want another straight line. And then we're not doing bad here. Yeah, we'll come right down to where the curve starts, which is probably about here. And click. And of course, I've got a curve, so now I'm going to hold my old key down and click there to give that a straight line. I'll just go and pull that one in a little bit because I'm going to try and avoid edge pixels where I can. So I'm just going to drag that in. There's a point there, so I'll click on that point and just drag it in a little bit. That's okay. Now we've got a bit of a curve. So I'll click somewhere there and then I'll put a point in the middle. So I'll click to put a point in the middle and then just drag it back to try and match it up. And that's not made a bad job. Let's have a look. We could probably do with a point up here. So I'm going to click and put a point in there. Just look at what's gone before. That's OK. And I'll click and then just put a point in there and a point in there just to get right around that curve. That's looking good. And then I'll do a click here. And just drag it in a little bit with another point. Oh, this is so much easier than using the... Oops, didn't need to do that, so I'm going to do Edit and Undo. And then I'm just going to click and drag that one back a little bit, so it matches the curve a little bit better. But yeah, it is so much better than using the old style... Well, I call it the old style. The old style pen tool. The standard pen tool, I mean, really. And then we'll click here to give us a straight line. And then we'll try somewhere around here to click. Again, we want this piece to be a straight line, so I'm going to Alt click on that one. And then we'll put a point in the middle and drag this out, try and get a nice rounded edge to it. Something like that. I just want to cut them little bits off, that's okay. Let's move that round a little bit and then we'll click somewhere like here. Uh, we might get away with just one in the middle to drop that down a little bit. Or we can do probably two straight lines. So let me alt click on that. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay, we'll go around the corner. I'm going to click and again I want that to be a straight line. So I'm going to hold the alt key down and click on it. Well, didn't mean to do that. Hold the Alt key down and click on that one to put it back to a straight point again. I've got this corner point. I'll drag that out to try and make it fit. It's not bad that. Uh, well, probably I'll just put another point in there maybe and drag that out and put another point here and pull that out. And I might be able to get a better corner by just putting a few more points in. And I can maybe just drag that there. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And then I'll go right up this side again to here. And I'll click. And then we've got some nice corners to go around. So I'm going to click and probably just put a point in here just to match us up with that. We've got a few white pixels showing there. So I'll just put a point in and drag that in a little bit. Okay, we've got another nice curve here, so I'll click, say, up that side, and then just put another point in the middle and drag it out. And then we'll go straight up to here with a straight line. Or shall we just drag it out a little bit? Yeah, because we've got a little bit there. Okay. And then we'll go around these corners, probably just with straight points, actually. And I think we've got another straight point there. And another point here, and then back to the start. And then I'm going to control the minus to zoom out. Bit too far. 
There we are. And there we can see we've got now quite a tight selection. Oh, and we're here we've got the work path. Now I'll just double click on where it says work path, the name, just to, and we'll call this uh, bottle. Because that's what it is. And we'll click OK. And now we'll change this to a, well, we'll change it to a selection. We could change it to a selection, a mask, or a shape. In this case, let's do a selection. And do we want it feathering? Yeah, we'll feather it a little bit. Give it one pixel of feather. So we've got a nice soft edge transition now. And let's do something with the bottle. Well, we'll click on another image. Uh, this is just a background image that I've got of a roadway. Let's imagine we're trying to put together some composite for a, a bottle of wine. Then we go to the wine bottle. I get my move tool. I click in the wine bottle and I drag it up just pause and then drag it back and here we've got the wine bottle now it's probably a little bit small so I'm going to transform it with control and T and I'm going to hold the shift key down while I transform it to do it in proportion and we'll get it something like that and that is not bad okay we've got a, a little bit of edge pixels to be dealing with down here let me just have a look at that you know, I've obviously just been a little bit quick missing, you know, going down here. No, just a minute. Let's try the magic one. That's going to be better for me. So I'll just click in here and see if I can get all those white pixels. And then I'll click the backspace key or the delete key on the Mac to delete them. And then Control and D to deselect. Zoom out a little bit. And that's not a bad selection, I don't think. We could then go on to putting a shadow on, maybe, and then putting another something going off, and maybe a speeding car or whatever, I don't know. But that's really the bones of how to use the curvature pen tool. And it is so much easier than using the standard pen tool. Hmm, hold on a minute. This is not quite fitting in, is it? We've, we've got a lot of greenery going on around here, but we've got a pure white um, reflection. Okay, how can we deal with that? Well, let's go back to the layers panel, and we can see we've got a background and we've got a layer. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another layer on. And I'm going to select my color picker, and then I'll go into the image, and you can see I've got a little eyedropper and then I'll just pick a green, something from around there, and click OK. So I've now got green loaded as my foreground colour. Now I'm going to pick my brush tool. I'll just make my brush a little bit bigger, make sure I've got a nice soft brush, which I have. And then I'm just going to paint a bit of green over this highlight. I'm just trying to blend it into the background, really, a little bit more. And then I can use a blend mode. I'll try, say, a soft light. That's normally a pretty good one. Yeah, that looks okay. And I'll drop the opacity a little bit. Just to give it a hint that it's not like a, it's not being shot in a studio or whatever. That there's, it's, it fits in as part of the background. And I'll just turn that light on and off. So you only want it subtle. You don't want it really green. So I'll probably drop it down a little bit more. Yeah, about 25% and then turn it on and off and it just gives a hint of it takes away that blueness of that uh, of that highlight well that's it for the shoppers for the curvature pen tool I do hope you found these two videos useful if you did please give me a like on Facebook at livelinktraining.com or catch me on YouTube at livelinktraining and please, if you can, support my YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button and help me to keep creating new content and grow my Photoshop learning community. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.